Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, boys and gals, as I always say. This video is not does not have anything to do with detailing, which is my favorite thing to do. Um, I make money from it. I love doing it. But this video right here is about Facebook and the reason why I don't have a Facebook page or or, or anything. I don't, I don't get into that. My wife loves it. She enjoys it. She gets into it. And she shares some of the stuff with me. Excuse me. But some of the stuff that she shares with me catches, you know, and I'm interested in it. Other than that, when she be reading it, I'll be like, mm-hmm. That's my way of saying I don't want to hear shit, but but when you have a Facebook page and you and your friends for years uh, get into bait, in, into debates, this is what happens. So, but they still friends. But this is what I want my wife to read to you or explain to you, and then I want her to read her comment. This is not. I mean, hey, I'm just one that don't Facebook, but I'm getting ready to because I, I need to advertise my business. So, ladies and gentlemen, here's my wife. Yes, pretty, a pretty work detail in Fayetteville, North Carolina. Yes, you do have a wife. Yes, yeah, you do. I'm married, man. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, I'm getting ready to move my big head out the way and let my wife explain to you. Are you ready, baby? Yep. Here we go. There's my wife. I have a Facebook friend who's African American and he does not like President Obama. And he asked me, what has Obama done for anybody? So I answered his question. I gave him some examples of what Obama has done. And just a few of those things included um, putting the automobile industry back on its feet, acknowledging that racism exists, um, established Obamacare, made it illegal for health insurances to discriminate against people who have pre-existing conditions like myself, uh, dropped unemployment to the lowest rate, he got Osama bin Laden, and I asked him, and he also gave us the Obama stimulus plan to encourage America to start spending money again to help with our financial strains as a country. So I, I said those things and I gave him a couple of other examples of what he had, what Obama has done for America. But um, he got very upset with me and said there's more things to be worried about than health insurance and all these other things that I discussed. So this was my response to him. You asked me what Obama has done for me, I answered you. You asked me what he's done for this country, I answered you. I'm not giving you my problems, I just answered your questions. Just like I have these issues, millions of Americans have these issues. That is why millions of Americans are better off because Obama truly impacted their lives. As for slavery, because he called me a slave and told me I had a slave mentality and kept talking about uh, more black people being in prison than slavery. So I said, as for slavery, now that is a whole different topic that has nothing to do with what you asked me about what Obama has done for me and what has Obama has done for this country. And I stated that when people change the subject on me, that tells me that they have nothing meaningful to bring to the conversation at hand. My husband says there's nothing sweeter on this earth than a black educated woman. I believe him. You can go into slavery and all of that, but I came on here to address your questions and you got your answers, I responded. You really need to ask yourself, why in this day and age are you calling a black woman like me a slave and calling a black man like Obama a white man in a black face? I told him, you are the only one that sounds like a slave. You never see white men putting each other down the way you put your own people down. Try lifting people up instead of tearing down the people of color around you. And I, I, I felt like I needed to, to, to voice this opinion because I love Barack Obama, not because he was a black man, 
because he was the best man for the job, period. And if there are other people of color that don't like Obama or they think he's just a black man in a white face, please listen to my response because it goes like everyone that feels that way. I would have voted for Obama if he was white. I would have voted for him if he was purple. I would have voted for him if he was green because he was truly, and still is truly, a president for the people, not a president for politics. The things that he did impacted millions of Americans, black, white, Asian, just Americans. Thank you. I'm coming. I'm a black man in white face, and I approve this message. 